Sarah Law here and today I want to share with you a little tip to help you get kissed on Valentine's Day. I want to help you create the perfect red lip so you can pucker up good and proper and have a good old smooch without it ending up all over your husband, boyfriend, lover's face. It stays on your lips. So first we're going to start with a lip treatment. So this is called the Intelligent Lip Treatment. It's really, really good for plumping the lips, um, which is what we all want, nice plump lips. So it's got ginger extract in and things like that and lots of botanicals that really help to soothe and nourish the lips. And it's also great for those little fine lines that we start to get happening around the mouth as we get older. So just all over the lips. And then we are going to go in with our red lippy. So I have got hibiscus here, which is a really nice shade of red because it's not like a red red. It's just a nice red. So we've got this and I'm going to get my lip brush. So you notice I'm starting with lipstick, not lip liner. So all I'm going to do is get some on my brush and start to work it into my lip. So just brush it all in. Just following the natural shape of your lips. It's really hard to talk and try and do lipstick at the same time, I've just discovered. I'm going to try that one again. I just did. Oh, over the lips. Now, normally when people blot their lips, they go like that. But what you want to do is that. Basically like you're trying to uh, suffocate yourself. Because if you just do that, you're only getting the middle, not the edges, and you want to get it even all over. So you've done one coat. What you can do if you want is put setting powder, translucent setting powder, in between coats to keep it in place even more, but I'm not going to do that today. Um, so again, same thing. All over the lips. So we're basically pressing it in and by adding layers and blotting, we're getting more colour into the lips that will last for longer. And that's exactly what we want. These lipsticks as well are beautiful. They're so nourishing for the lips, they actually add moisture into the lips instead of drying it out. So I don't know if you're like me and you found that you've used lipsticks before and ended up with really crusty, dry lips and it all starts to peel off and feel horrible. Not with this one, but it's still really long wearing. So that's coat number two. Just gonna get crazy on the edge there. And again, we're gonna do exactly the same thing. Look at that. Ta -da. And then coat number three. All over. And this time I'm not gonna blot it. So there's my lipstick done. So that was hibiscus that I used. So as you can see, it's a really nice red. I love this colour. It's not like that traditional garish red. I used to think I couldn't wear red lipstick. I was like, I look like a drag queen. But actually, if you get the right shade, you can. Everyone can wear red lipstick. And what I really like is to keep everything else quite simple when I've got red lipstick on. So as you can see, I haven't done any eyeshadow at all. I've just got a bit of eyeliner and mazzy on. So then I'm going to go on to the lip liner. So I'm using Berry. Um, and I love these because they've got little sharpeners on the end. Look, how cool is that? So you never have to try and find a sharpener. So you notice I'm doing this after I've done the lipstick. You can just tidy everything up. And what you can also do is, depending on what you want to create, if you've got quite uh, thin lips and you want to make them a little bit bigger, you can just slowly line just outside of your lips, not all the way out, obviously, you don't want to look like a clown. Um, or if you've got very big lips and you want to kind of tone them down, you can just line slightly in the lips, which I don't think many people do because having big lips is awesome. So, all I'm going to do is start from the centre, draw outwards. And it just defines slightly. The 
good thing of doing it this way is you don't end up with a big lip line if your lipstick all comes off. Awesome. Not that this Lizzie is going to come off. I hope you can actually understand what I'm saying. All around the lip. There we go. Mm -hmm. Done that You do have one side of my lip slightly higher than the other so you can uh, correct things like that with a little bit of lip liner and then the final piece de resistance is this mega sparkly lip gloss and i'm just going to put a tiny bit of this in the center of my lips because what that then does is when it catches the light it makes you look like you've got really full thick lips so just in the very center add that little bit of definition You can see that it just makes your lips look so much fuller. Just adding it into the centre. Mm, and that, my dear friends, is how to create the perfect red Valentine's lip so you can pucker up and get smooched all night long. <laughs>